It's always a good idea to make friends with your neighbors, especially when your work might lead them to believe you're the jigsaw killer. As experienced Saw franchise director Kevin Groitert revealed in an interview with MME, one of the torture scenes in Saw X was apparently so brutal that it got first assistant editor Steve Fauna in trouble with his neighbors and local law enforcement. Appropriately, the scene in question involves the poster trap for Saw X, aka the eyeball trap. The continuity laid in Saw X set between the first two films depicts a John Kramer who has recently learned that the progression of his brain cancer has left him with only months left to live. In the film, Kramer catches one of the hospital's custodial staff attempting to rob an unconscious and seemingly mortally ill patient. In a moment of impotent rage, he imagines torturing the custodian as Jigsaw by strapping the man into a machine that will force him to individually break all five fingers on one hand, or be punished by having his eyes sucked out of his head by an industrial vacuum. It's without question one of the most unforgettable moments of Saw X, with that single scene delivering a genuinely impactful character beat, some subtle foreshadowing, and the meticulously agonizing violence that fans expect and delight in. Due special recognition for the scene's effectiveness is actor Isam Pyamyun Lee, who gave a grounded and mostly isolated performance as the thieving custodian. His acting was so convincing, in fact, that when Steve Former was editing this exact scene, his neighbors thought he was torturing someone in his apartment. While editing audio for the eyeball trap scene, neighbors of Steve Fauna, presumably unaware of what he did for a living, became concerned that the mild-mannered artist was torturing someone in his home. As a home video camera reportedly captured, LAPD officers responded to the disturbance call and knocked on his door, at which point a startled Fauna answered, likely hoping that his excuse of working on a movie wasn't one that real serial killers employ. According to Fauna, the cops told him that the neighbors had rang them up, accusing him of violently torturing a real person. After explaining that he was simply cutting together a scene for a horror film, Fauna even invited the officers in to watch the sequence for themselves. The realization was enough to send the cops into a fit of laughter before they politely declined the invitation and left Fauna to his bloody workload. Though Fauna was likely at least a bit shaken, the ordeal seems to greatly amuse Groitert, who served as the lead editor on the first Saw film back in 2004. Fauna marveled to NME. I can only imagine the look on his face when he realized what was happening. In a morbid sort of way, it's almost impressive that Saw X was able to elicit such a strong reaction through its audio alone. Though Jigsaw's antics have historically proven to impact audiences in such a way, more than you might expect. The Saw franchise is well known for its exceptionally gratuitous score, most of which is delivered through excruciatingly drawn-out sequences of torture. By the time the third installment arrived in 2006, there was enough of a risk of genuine injury that The Guardian reported that a British ambulance trust issued an official advisory upon its release. East Anglian Ambulance Trust spokesperson Matthew Ware stated, People need to be aware this film is not for the squeamish or faint-hearted. As well as collapses, we have had reports of people running screaming from the cinemas. Saw 3 features some of the franchise's most gruesome traps, folded tightly into Jeff Denland's game in which he must save the lives of those responsible for the death of his son and as well as the miscarriage of justice that followed. Notably, many of the traps were designed to be unwinnable by Amanda Young, such as the dizzying angel trap that executes Detective Allison Kerry. Equally disgusting are the rack, the freezer room, and the opening classroom trap, all of which could easily send an unsuspecting viewer running for the toilet. Where continued, every now and then a film comes along that some people find hard to stomach. Saw 3 appears to have sent filmgoers over the edge. Assuming that those individuals reporting distress were not seriously harmed, it's hard to imagine Lionsgate could have paid for better publicity. And while Saw X arguably has more going for it than any previous installment in terms of narrative heft, it's comforting to know it didn't have to sacrifice its headline-making violence in the process.